Many Ukrainians fled the war-torn country at the start of the Russian invasion in 2022. At the time, Canada and Quebec opened their doors to them, offering work permits and social services so they could find safety here. Two years later, the war is dragging on, and some in the Ukrainian community say help from the province is dwindling. Though some have been granted work permits from Ottawa to stay for another three years, Ukrainians are no longer eligible for provincial health care beyond 2025. We kind of puzzled because we pay the same taxes uh, as uh, all locals. Oleksii Smolyarchuk has a work permit valid until 2027, but he got a letter from the province saying health care for his family expires in 2025 without possibility of renewal. He says he looked into private insurance, but it would cost hundreds of dollars a month, a stretch for the family's already tight budget. And he says most companies won't even cover his five-year-old son. One of our son has uh, chronic illnesses. If they uh, revoke our access to RAMQ, I think they will revoke also access to family doctor. And uh, that could be a burden for my son in particular because uh, he needs supervision. This volunteer has been helping Ukrainian families settle in the province. She says she's heard of several people with valid work permits being denied health care coverage. She says Ukrainians are already working day and night to earn a living and learn French. The wives of the men who are fighting at the war in Ukraine are here with their children and are trying to uh, you know, make, uh, have a life here. As a democracy who is an ally of Ukraine, uh, who is fighting to defend, you know, all the values that we hold dear. It's just not, not who we are. And people are still coming from Ukraine because of the war. I spoke with Valeria Puha, who arrived in June 2024. Her work permit is valid until 2027 but Quebec refused her application for health coverage because her permit isn't attached to a specific employer. The emergency work permits Ottawa issued to Ukrainians were open, meaning they're not attached to any particular employer. In a statement, the province said Ottawa ended emergency measures for Ukrainians on March 31st, 2024, and so Quebec ended its own. The province says it did provide a grace period until the end of May. We asked if the Immigration Ministry plans to extend emergency measures since the war is ongoing and Ukrainians with work permits continue to pay taxes in Quebec. As a response, the Ministry just reiterated that special measures were over and that Ukrainians have access to regular integration services as do other newcomers. Rudaya says some Ukrainians are telling her they're now reconsidering their future here. We'll go back to war torn Ukraine if it has to be that way because we don't have the strength anymore to go and set up our lives elsewhere.